Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your old smartphone or any other smartphone you have as a webcam and to create that insane background effect such as green screen or background blur in your YouTube videos or in your streams. So let's get straight into it. So for this work, unfortunately, you do need a NVIDIA graphics card that is an RTX because as you can see system requirements, the GPU must be an RTX 2060 or higher. You would need around 8GB of RAM. You would also need this display driver right here. You would also need the IV Cam software. I tried using Droid Cam, which is another software that works really good, but unfortunately, it would, does not work with NVIDIA Broadcast. So you would need to download a Windows version and also download the Android or iOS version. Now, once you get it, all you have to do is connect IV Cam to your PC via USB, or you can use a wireless connection. So it either has to be on the same Wi-Fi network or what I do is connect it via USB that is a lot more secure. So you would open IV Cam up and as you can see I have it open. You can tweak stuff in the software like the exposure and stuff. So I actually have the full version but you do not need the full version for this to work. But I do recommend it. As you can see the quality is pretty good. You can go into settings, change uh, the resolution. So I'm recording on my S6 Edge at the moment. This is the S6 Edge camera quality, 1280 by 720 and 60 FPS, even though the NVIDIA broadcast only takes a max of 25 frames per second, which I think is fine, but I just have it at this. This keeps my CPU usage down because my CPU usage was going straight up when I had this at 1080p at 60 FPS, so I turned it down. You could even put the FPS down to 5, and you can also switch the camera, take pictures, record, and all that. After you have that, you would turn on NVIDIA Broadcast. So I actually use NVIDIA Broadcast for a microphone as well. You can use it for this, and you can also use it for your camera. So the camera, if you go to the camera beta, this is the beta version. Before there was RTX Voice, but now it's all NVIDIA Broadcast. And if you go to the camera, you can just select it. As you see, Droid Cam is unsupported, and you would just go there. You have 1280 by 720p at 25 frames per second and it's not that bad as you can see, this is actually how it looks. I adjust the background blur but I think like around the starting it looks the best. You can also replace the background with any video or picture so let's do one of these or like for example like this Fortnite one and it, it does a pretty good job as you can see like my hand is all like in frame but like so some things in the background kind of like mess it up. My hand is kind of getting glitched out here because of my microphone, but if I go further away, it does a better job of taking everything out. And you can also do background removal. This is what you would use for as a green screen. Uh, and it looks pretty good anyway. And you can also use auto frame, which is also one of my favorite ones because you can just move around and the thing follow you around your camera. It's like, it's like you have like a mobile camera. And oh, actually the zoom is actually a new feature because before they did not have this in the last version. So that's pretty cool. And you can zoom in as much as you want. Uh, so I usually keep it on background blur because I think it looks the best and the most professional. And it, literally you can use this in your zoom calls and anything. But so you guys came here for streaming. So we just go to OBS and this is how it looks in OBS. We have um, Among Us in the background, we have the webcam right here. So now that we're in OBS, to actually get the camera into, into your stream, all you have to do is go to a new scene or any scene. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go to video capture device and just press new. And as you can see, it defaults to IV cam, but you would just switch it to NVIDIA broadcast. You can make it as big as you want. Obviously the quality is not as good when it's big like this compared to when it's smaller It looks a lot better and more high quality and also I have a little intermission screen This is like not finished, but this is just how, how it would look and I think it looks pretty good And also to show it off I would sh I want to show you guys how the how it looks without the background border or anything and just in the green screen So you just go to background removal and remove the background. It looks pretty good. I can make it as big as I want and place it like right here so like if you're playing Among Us you can just place it in the in here and it will look pretty good so now I am in Among Us and it looks pretty good just keep it down and you will be fine with how this looks 
And that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next Tech Vision HD video. Peace.